Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. I'm Zoe. If you're new here, this is a channel where my husband and I, we take wood, turn it into lumber, and make some pretty cool projects out of them. And we also do a lot of work with epoxy. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we have a package from our partnering company, Crafted Elements. I'm gonna open it up and see what kind of projects we're gonna make out of it today. It's the wine carrier mold. Perfect, I've been wanting to check this mold out and make some pretty cool things out of it. See. see how it moves like that? These silicone molds are perfect for any epoxy project. We love Crafted Elements and we pretty much only use their molds for our projects. If you're not familiar with Crafted Elements, this is their wine caddy mold. It's a silicone mold. It's 12 inches by three inches by one inch thick and you fill this empty area right here with epoxy or whatever other fillers you want to use. And when you pull it out, it makes a perfect little carrier for a wine bottle and two wine glasses. I don't know about you, but I love me some wine. So I've been looking forward to getting this package. So let's mix up some epoxy and get this project started. Since this is a wine caddy, what better item to include than wine corks? I'm gonna cut a flat surface on these corks using our bandsaw. And then I'm gonna just use 120 grit sandpaper to sand that flat surface a little bit, make it a little bit softer, and then we'll place those wine corks over the first layer of epoxy and then cover it with clear epoxy. We're gonna use a smaller bandsaw that we have here at the shop to cut the flat edges on these corks. We have all of our corks cut and sanded and they're ready to be placed on top of the epoxy. So now we're going to go make up some epoxy and pick our color. I think I'm going to do a dark color, maybe like a dark gray or a black color because I think it'll look really pretty against these light colored corks. If you don't know, we are a distributor for ice epoxy. So we're going to come into our shop here and we're going to grab some thin casting epoxy and pick out our color. After looking at some of the colors we had, I decided with the magic blue ice, and we're gonna use this one-to-one -one ice cast epoxy.
Before we pour our epoxy into our mold, we're gonna use this epoxy mold release. It's not absolutely necessary, but it'll definitely help prolong the life of your silicone mold. When you spray the epoxy mold release into your silicone mold, you wanna make sure you do it away from your work area because you don't want this to get on anything else part of the project. I have the epoxy all mixed up, and now I'm gonna add some of this magic blue ice coloring. We have our one-to-one -one thing casting ice epoxy all mixed up with our magic blue coloring, and now it's time to pour in our mold. That was the perfect amount for that first layer of blue epoxy. We're gonna wait about 45 minutes while this hardens a little bit. Then we're gonna smush down these wine corks in it and then we'll top it off with that clear layer of epoxy. When the epoxy starts to harden, the color pigment will settle to the bottom. So I'm gonna swirl it a little bit, mix up that pigment and trap in some designs. I'm gonna use our DeWalt heat gun to pop any bubbles that have risen to the surface. That layer of blue epoxy is setting nicely. We're gonna put in the corks now and wait a little bit longer and then we'll do the top layer of clear epoxy. All right, we're gonna let it sit a little bit longer and then we'll do that top layer of clear epoxy and we just gotta finish it off. It's time for us to mix up and pour our clear layer. We're gonna use the two to one mix ratio for the deep casting ice epoxy.
The clear epoxy is all mixed up, and here comes my favorite part. We're gonna pour it. I just finished pouring that clear layer of epoxy. And the reason we use the two to one mixing ratio is because it takes longer for the epoxy to cure, but it allows the heat bubbles to release from the corks and rise up through the epoxy to the top where they usually end up uh, popping themselves. If they don't, we can come in with a heat gun and pop them. But if we were to use a one to one mixing ratio, it just cures too fast. So the bubbles will get stuck in the epoxy. And I wanna make sure that this is as perfect and clear as possible. As you can see, some bubbles are already rising to the top, so I'm just gonna come in with the heat gun and pop them. I tried to make sure that the corks were stuck down in that first layer of epoxy before pouring this clear layer, but as you can see right here, the corks are rising to the top. This is a problem with using things that float. So I'm just gonna use a toothpick and try to push it down into that first layer. Try to make it stick in there better. We push the corks down deeper into that first layer of epoxy and I think they're gonna stay there. I'm gonna hit it one more time with this heat gun and we'll just continue to monitor it until it's fully cured. I'm gonna place this box over the epoxy project to make sure that no dust or anything else gets in there while it cures and we'll come back in a couple days and finish the project. We're back at the shop today finishing up our wine caddy. So I'm gonna check it out. All right, so far it's looking pretty good. We were fighting, trying to get the corks to stay under that clear layer of epoxy. So it took a little bit making sure they were really seated in that bottom layer of the blue epoxy, but it looks like it turned out really nice so far. None of them are above that surface, so that's what we're really fighting for there. Now I just need to take this out of the mold and it's ready to go. And this is what I love about Crafted Elements silicone molds. They are so easy to use, and you'll see here, just crack the sides on your project, and you peel it right out. Look how easy that was. That was so incredibly easy. Wow, that, that turned out awesome. I'm super happy with this. This is the first one that we've done with this wine caddy. And I'm actually really looking forward to making more of these. If you're interested in purchasing any Crafted Elements silicone mold, be sure to click the link in the description below and use our discount code triple L10. They'll save you some money and it helps us track who's purchasing molds from watching our videos. 
You can see the first layer of blue epoxy down at the bottom. It really helps hold in those corks. The corks are seated in there pretty well, and then that top layer of clear epoxy is crystal clear. This is why we use ice epoxy, because they always produce beautiful epoxy projects. And then we only have a couple, couple bubbles left behind, but if we had used a heat gun on those, those would have gone, gone away. The edges on this is a little sharp, so we're just gonna use our router to give a nice chamfer on the edges. And I think it's gonna turn out really nice. After looking at this a little bit longer, I'm too scared to use a router on it. I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm just gonna hit the edges very lightly with a hand sander and try to avoid hitting any of the clear epoxy. Just buff the edges a little bit. I hand sanded the outside edges of the caddy, but used the router on the inside circle. And I do really like how the router made a nice chamfer on the inside there. So I think here on out, I'm just gonna use that for all the edges. The hand sanding worked pretty well, but it's not as clean looking as the router made it. And there's a little bit of scratches, so. But this one will be for me. And from, for future projects, we'll know what to do next time. Now let's head to the house and I'll show you how this baby works. We're back at home and it's time to test out our wine caddy. So the neck of the wine bottle goes in the middle hole here, like that. And then you take your wine glasses and you slide them on each side, like that. And you can carry both. Our wine glasses are pretty tall, or we just need a bigger bottle of wine, because then we could set the wine bottle down and these could just hang on either side, but the glasses are a little bit too long for this but I'm really happy with how, with how it turned out. And I think the corks on the wine caddy are nice touch. Guys, this is a great way to impress that lady of yours, or it makes an awesome gift. So I'm super happy with how this turned out and I can't wait to make some more. That's gonna do it for this video today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you next time.